We've now reviewed solving with graphing, with square roots, with completing the square, and previously we've done through factoring. And on the test, when it just tells you to solve, you can pick any of those methods. The quadratic equation, as I mentioned, is a favorite method because it can be used in any situations. But you have to remember it accurately and you have to apply it very carefully. So the quadratic formula is really, really important and you have to memorize it. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. And you remember that this portion, this is from 10.7, B squared minus 4AC is called the discriminant. And the discriminant, if it's greater than zero, tells you there's two solutions. If it's less than zero, means there's no solution. In other words, nothing is intercepting that axis. And if it's equal to zero, means there's one solution, meaning the vertex is literally on that axis. So that quadratic formula, say we have, we'll just jump right into problem number 24. In problem number 24 says x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. And I'm just going to apply a equals 1, b equals negative 2, c equals negative 15. Negative b, negative negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, right, b squared minus 4 times a is 1, and c is negative 15, over 2 times 1. So I get a positive 2 is negative negative, plus or minus the square root of, and here I have 4, and I have two negatives, right? Negative four and negative 15. So when you have an even number of negatives, right? It's gonna be a positive. So plus and four times 15 is 60 over two. And this gives me two plus or minus the square root of 64 over two. The square root of 64 is eight. So two plus or minus eight over two. 2 plus 8 is 10, over 2 is 5, so one of my answers is 5. 2 minus 8 is negative 6, divided by 2 is negative 3. So these are going to be my two answers, 5 and negative 3. And so using the quadratic formula, that was a very easy one. Uh, I can see that uh, most of the others are going to be some kind of decimal but you've solved many like this, you want to go out to the nearest hundred, and I'm going to say round carefully and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so you don't lose points on something simple. Round carefully, you guys know how to round. Okay? Um, so 10.5 Seven was what I just described here. I will do one of those exercises, but I just introduced it. Um, so let me do, let's see, maybe I'll do uh, number 34 since I did an easy one here. One eighth v squared minus six 
equals zero. Well, if I look there, what's my A value? Well, my A value equals one eighth. <coughs> Sorry, I am really not sick. My B value, since there's no V, right? There's a V squared, but there's no V, must be zero. And my C value is negative six. Okay, so I can use my I can use my discriminant b squared minus 4ac because I should have repeated this question is just in 10.7 asking you how many solutions. So let me make sure I've made it clear. How many solutions? I don't necessarily need to solve here. I just need to say how many solutions there are. So b squared minus 4ac, well that's not hard, b is zero, right? So I have zero squared minus four times one eighth times c, which is negative six. Well, this is gonna give me a negative and negative, which is a positive. Positive 24 divided by eight is three. So since I actually get a positive number, the answer is two solutions. And that's number 34 under 10.7, interpret the discriminant. Now I am not gonna do 10.8 because we just went over it, but I will put my introductory video to 10.8 at the very end if you wanna review it through this chapter. Um, you really only need to focus on the odds, <coughs> but what I will do uh, is if you want um, the answers, I am happy to send them to you um, with the review so that you can look and see if you're doing the work correctly. I don't know if I can do all the graphs, um, but I will certainly give you the number answers so that you can compare your answer and see if you did it correctly. All right, guys, good luck. Uh, I am gonna hold a help session on Tuesday uh, so that if you wanna call in, uh, you can get some answers to your questions.